Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Adventure in a Backpack. Today we're going to be doing a review over our... Dometic Origo 3000 Alcohol Stove. Let's check it out. This is a two burner alcohol fueled stainless steel stove completely freestanding and this is what we use primarily for cooking in the van. Let's talk about some of the pros and the cons that we've found of this stove. It's super compact at about 10 inches by 5 inches by 18 inches. It's portable with no extra tanks or hoses it's easy to move and store. There's very few moving parts on it which means there's less stuff to break. The only moving parts on it are these knobs that control a valve and this hinge. That's about it. You don't need a pressurized fuel tank or a vented cabinet. All of your fuel is stored right in these alcohol fuel trays. Let's talk about the cons of this stove. The first one is that the alcohol doesn't burn as hot as propane which means that it doesn't boil water as quickly and it also doesn't do quite as well in the wind. There's no fuel gauge on the stove, so when you run out of fuel, you just run out of fuel. It's not exactly the easiest fuel to fill and sometimes you do spill a little bit of alcohol. And the biggest con is probably the price. It's a little pricey at $380. $338. At $400 billion. <laughs> at $764. <laughs> at 3 billion 200 yen. <laughs> Stop. How much? $338. $338. That's <laughs> all you're going to say? <laughs> Con, $338. <laughs> the last and probably the biggest con of this unit is the price. It comes in at a pretty hefty price tag of $338. Ouch. The fuel needed for this stove is simply denatured alcohol. While this typically can't be found at most grocery stores, it can be found at any hardware store or wherever household paint is sold. There is no internal igniter, so a long lighter is necessary which yields to the simplistic nature of the stove. Caution must be used during operation of this stove as denatured alcohol burns with little to no visible flame. Overall, I think the pros outweigh the cons and I'd rate this about a seven and a half. Would definitely buy it again. I think the, uh, the biggest negative on the price tag is kind of outweighed by how durable this thing is. Not having very many moving parts, uh, stainless steel, very high quality construction. It's going to last a very, very long time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We've got a lot more videos headed your way, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Subscribe, thumbs up, do things, touch down. <laughs>